Since 1958, NASA has spent $1.32 trillion, or an average of $22.3 billion per year. To put that into perspective, $67 is taken from every US resident every year for space exploration and science projects, which generally isn't utilized very effectively. Top 5 Most Costly Space Mission Failures Ever Mars Polar Lander $154 million Mars Polar Lander was a robotic spacecraft lander launched by NASA to study the soil and climate of Planum Australe, a region near the South Pole of Mars. In December 1999, Mars Polar Lander was supposed to touch down near the red planet South Pole, but shortly after it entered the Martian atmosphere, the spacecraft disappeared without a trace, never to be heard back from. Five and a half years later, scientists think they may have finally located the lander's wreckage and confirmed what went wrong with the mission. Scientists suggested that MPL's landing rockets fired at the right time and altitude, but cut off prematurely. They were supposed to continue firing until one of the craft's landing legs touched the surface. Apparently, the onboard software mistook the jolt of landing legs deployment for ground contact and shut down the engines, causing MPL to freefall from a presumed height of 40 meters, 130 feet. Phobos Grunt, $163 million. Phobos Grunt was a Russian spacecraft developed by Levochkin. It intended to obtain a soil sample from the Mars moon Phobos and return it to Earth. On the 9th of November 2011, spacecraft was lifted into Earth orbit faultlessly, but soon after, it failed to respond to commands from the ground and did not ignite its booster rockets which was set it on course for Phobos, leaving it stranded in low Earth orbit. Efforts to reactivate the spacecraft both by Roscosmos and ESA were unsuccessful. On the 15th of January 2012, it fell back to Earth in an uncontrolled re-entry over the Pacific Ocean. Russia speculated cause of crash to be powerful electromagnetic emissions from a US-operated radar, but also acknowledged the main causes were the errors during production and test works. Mars Climate Orbiter 327.60 million dollars. Mars Climate Orbiter was a robotic space probe manufactured by Lockheed and launched by NASA's JPL. MCO was launched in 1998 to study climate, atmosphere and surface changes on Mars. On the 23rd of September 1999, as it was approaching Mars, MCO was programmed to fire its main engine to achieve an elliptical orbit around Mars, but it went out of radio contact and two days later it was officially declared lost probe had ventured too close to Mars, 90 kilometers lower than the anticipated altitude, plummeting into its atmosphere and disintegrating. This was all due to an error in software controlling the orbiter's thrusters. NASA's software onboard MCO calculated the force that the thrusters needed to exert in metric newtons of force, but ground computers supplied by Lockheed Martin used imperial pounds of force. This meant every impulse measurement done underestimated the effects of the thrusters by a factor of 4.45. One pound of force is equal to 4.45 newtons. As a result, the wrong trajectory was completed using this incorrect data. Space Shuttle Challenger – $5.5 billion Rockwell International was contacted by NASA to convert STA-099 to a space-rated orbiter Challenger. Challenger was the second orbiter of NASA's space shuttle program to be put into service after Columbia. On January 28, 1986, Challenger launched on mission 51-L to put second tracking and data relay satellites into orbit. All appeared to be normal until after the vehicle emerged from max Q, that is the period of greatest aerodynamic pressure. At that moment, mission control told Scooby, Challenger, go and throttle up. Seconds later, the vehicle exploded just 73 seconds after liftoff at an altitude of 14,000 meters, 46,000 feet. Debris rained into the Atlantic Ocean for more than an hour after the explosion. 
analysis later showed that a seal, called an O-ring, on the shuttle's right solid rocket booster had failed at liftoff, allowing pressurized hot gas to escape from inside the booster. This vaporized material weakened strut connecting the solid rocket booster to the shuttle's huge orange external tank, causing both pieces of hardware to break down. Under severe aerodynamic loads, the Space Shuttle Challenger broke apart over the Atlantic Ocean 1 minute and 13 seconds after launch. Space Shuttle Columbia $13 billion On the 16th of January 2003, Space Shuttle Columbia launched from Kennedy Space Center on a 16-day scientific space mission to conduct a multitude of external space experiments. On the 1st of February 2003, the Space Shuttle Columbia began to dive down into the Earth's atmosphere, blazing at speeds over 17,500 miles per hour, or 23 times the speed of sound. During descent, Space Shuttle Columbia performed optimally as usual, but then abnormal readings showed up in mission control. Temperature sensor located in the left wing stopped to function, then the tire pressure reading located on the left side of the shuttle also vanished. Spacecraft communicator called up to Columbia to discuss the tire pressure readings. Husband from Columbia called back, Roger, followed by a word that was cut off abruptly in mid-sentence. The uh, tire is feeling the heat pressure on left outboard and left inboard both tires. In Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure uh, messages and we did not copy your last. Is it instrumentation, Max? Uh, flight Max, uh, they're also off. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, UHF comm check. Columbia Houston UHF comm check. Repeated attempts to make contact with Columbia failed. A few minutes later, a mission controller received a phone call. The caller said a television network was showing video of the shuttle breaking up in the sky. Debris from Space Shuttle Columbia spread across a zone of over 2,000 square miles in East Texas alone. NASA eventually recovered 84,000 pieces, representing nearly 40% of Columbia. But what caused the Space Shuttle disintegration? During the launch of Columbia, a piece of foam insulation broke off from the Space Shuttle external tank and struck the left wing of the orbiter. This caused a massive breach to the heat shield material on the leading edge of the left wing during descent as the space shuttle entered the atmosphere. This hole in the wing allowed hot gas to penetrate the Columbia and caused heavy internal damage. This resulted in gradual disintegration of the left wing and eventually the space shuttle Columbia itself. Do you think the price paid and lives lost towards space exploration is for the greater good of humanity? Share your thoughts in the comments below.